All right, I've got some Amazon finds, not finds really, but got some Amazon things that I want to bring out here. So, oh boo. <laughs> so I bought two more heating mats for my seedlings and I also purchased a, an extension cord because I needed an extension cord. So I just got all the heating mats ready to go. The last thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna shake some cinnamon over the top because it's supposed to help with mold and like keep mold away and algae and things like that. But I just, I have read that a couple different places and I am noticing maybe a little bit on my first cells that I started making, so I just want to be really on top of it. I don't want any of it to go to waste, obviously. It's looking really good, especially this area right here, it looks good. I feel like these two kind of bunched up like this. I might have to turn them to the side, but yeah, I've got, I mean, I got a lot of wires going, but my extension cord wor is working good. I've got a couple extra outlets on it as well, so this is pretty intense, but I've got a ton of sproutage. You can kind of see through there. I don't want to take the top off again, but I've got a ton of sprouting going on and I'm so excited to just see that. And uh, I think I showed today or as well. I've got some sprouting in my wildflowers, but you know what, I might just, I might sprinkle some cinnamon on top of these as well. But these are, these I don't think are gonna grow as fast. I saw this on Acre Homestead, so. I do whatever she says, you know? I'm very concerned about these that I did uh, when I first started, like the first ones that I made, I, I don't think that they're gonna probably turn out too well, which is pretty much a shame, honestly, because I a lot of them are flowers and I really wanted them to turn out well, but yeah, that's it for in here today. Did all my little gardening. I'll come and check on this tomorrow. Let me tell you though, those heat mats, they work. I'm rushing downstairs because something potentially exciting could happen in the next 20 minutes. So I'm gonna sit down here really quick. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup, but I gotta do this first. So hold on, I gotta go grab my laptop. Oh God. Okay, I've got my computer set up, I've got my laptop in front of me, and I also have my phone ready to go. So I'm trying to get tickets for Hans Zimmer. So Jarvis told me about it. He's like on top of the concerts, but there's a TikTok pre-sale today and I'm trying to get tickets and we really would rather have tickets for Chicago, but I'm just gonna see if I can get tickets, if it's gonna be really, really hard or if it's gonna be easy. I mean, the Chicago ones, unfortunately, I just realized are not for another hour. So I'm kind of like, oh, shoot. But I'm gonna see what Madison Square Garden is like first. If it's like they sell out like crazy, I think I'm gonna, I might try to buy them. I mean, I could always just probably resell them if I get tickets to both or something, but I have been wanting to see Hans Zimmer. I think I've had vlogs even where I'm saying, it's just been like such a dream of mine personally to see him. So yeah, I'm going for those today. And Jarvis is the one that told me about him. So yeah, we got 15 minutes, but I will let you know. Oh, I'm kind of nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, I'm having some trouble here. The Ticketmaster is the worst thing that ever ever, 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 ever existed in the world. So whatever, I am still in the queue for this, but I we really wanted Chicago anyway, so I just wanted to kind of test it out. But there were tickets available. I was like 4,000 in the queue, and then I was 6,000 in the queue, and then there were some tickets available. So I was able to get sort of an idea of prices and kind of what to do. So I'm hoping that I'm having gonna have better luck when I actually do the Chicago ones, because I don't think I'm probably gonna get tickets 
for New York, the New York because it's just, it's too crazy. So I'm gonna go upstairs really quick and eat and then I'm gonna come back down here and get in the queue for Chicago. <laughs> Well, I'm halfway doing my makeup, but the ticket master queue went live for the Chicago, which was way easier, way smoother for me personally, even though I was farther back in the queue. It was, there was a, like a lot of tickets left for some reason when I went in there to try to like buy them. And I ended up getting them. And I noticed that if you just keep refreshing, sometimes they'll pop up. So that's kind of what's happening right now is it's 11.20 and they're still kind of like popping up here and there. Different tickets and stuff like that. We're going to Hans Zimmer and I'm so, 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 so excited. It's so exciting, oh my God. Okay, I have to come out here and show you my seedlings. Oh my God. Boo's also out here by the way. But I'm just watering them right now. This is crazy. I mean the heat, I'm telling you, it's the heat mats because this stuff was not moving and it germinated way, way, way before it said that it was supposed to germinate. So all I can say is I did make my mistake and I'm owning it and I'm admitting it that I put way too many seeds in the pods for the first two trays I did. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'm honestly kind of panicking a little bit. Boo. Yeah, no, you're not going to go over there. So it looks like crazier than usual. <laughs> But I'm excited that they're even growing. So here we go. So back there, I've got all my lettuce. Like, guys, I put way too many seeds. <laughs> it's like so freaking much. But, I mean, these are going crazy. So these started to just pop up. Uh, these these lettuce, this is all lettuce in this, these rows too. These are peppers. Those have not moved yet that I can see. And then today the dill just popped up out of absolutely nowhere. So I'm very excited about that. And then this one, jalapenos, nothing yet. I am seeing a tiny little bit of maybe the carrots popping up. And, uh, oh wait, these are tomatoes. So there's one little tomato sprouting right here. But then look at these. These are the squash. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of insane. They are going crazy. And they are going crazy, and they're going crazy. And I'm happy about it, honestly. So, yeah, that's going really well. So I was just in here um, watering them. Because I did take off the top because I was noticing some mold. So I think it's just kind of a balancing act of like, okay, you know, too much moisture. And I think that the trays were giving it too much. So once I did that, I noticed a lot of it went away. So, yeah, I'm just kind of doing just watering this a little bit in some of the areas that look a little drier all right and then these i only put these in here maybe what one or two days ago so let's see these i don't think would have anything yet and they don't and these take a lot longer these are like super long grow times but i do notice that some are popping up over here in this wildflower one, you can kind of see them. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of, and I did add some plant food to all of these as well. Um, these are going a little bit slower cause I don't have them on heat mats and it's also a little bit colder over here, but I'm just kind of topping off some of this stuff so it just stays moist. Just doing like a barely a little bit, just a tiny, tiny a little bit amount. I was really worried about these like not coming out because I just kind of, I mean, I spent kind of a lot on them. So yeah, I'm just going to have to find a place to put this stuff <laughs> once. Because these I'm going to have to probably transfer pretty soon, I would think. Really soon, especially that one. Like what the hell? Anyway, there's the plants update. I just filmed a video, so that's what I've been doing all day. And I'm waiting for that to transcode and then I'm going to start editing it. That's it right now.